If you've ever wondered how to combine a hybrid productivity system that makes the best out of a digital productivity tool like Trello and a physical planner like my favorite full focus planner, then this video is for you because I'm going to break it down into a very simple system so that you can get the very best out of your digital tools as well as your physical planner. Coming up. What's up, familia? Welcome back to the Business Lounge Podcast. In today's episode, I want to tackle a question from a lovely subscriber. Her name is Irene, and Irene writes, how do you combine using the full focus planner with Trello and your other calendars? I love my paper planner, but recently switched over to Trello after feeling so overwhelmed and by watching your videos, it made a whole lot of a difference. So I find myself using my daily planner less and less. How do you combine these systems so that they work together? together. Love this question, Irene. And it's something that a lot of our members inside the business lounge also have questions about. They've asked these questions for years and years. As I talked more about Trello and the full focus planner. So I had the opposite uh, experience. I started working with digital tools and I loved them. And then I started integrating a daily physical planner to that mix, to my productivity mix. And so I want to make it very clear that you do not have to use both tools if that is not the way that your mind works. It is perfectly okay to just use a digital tool or just use a physical planner. In my opinion, after doing a lot of research when it comes to goal setting and achieving milestones, particularly in business, I saw that the research really slanted towards actually writing down your goals and looking at them every day and filling out your daily tasks and creating reviews in the written word. That's what actually hooked me into trying out digital planners. And then when I found the full focus planner and I started realizing the methodology, right, the systematic approach to setting goals on a annual basis, on a monthly basis, on a quarterly basis, weekly and daily basis, and having all of those goals connected so that what you're working on on a daily basis, your to-do list every day, actually amounts to long-term goals, those goals that you have set up at the beginning of the year. That really resonated with me. It clicked and it made a huge difference. So when it comes to figuring out what system works best for you, that is a very personal. It's very individualized. And so what I want to accomplish with uh, this episode is to give you guys a big picture overview to just lay out a foundation, an example, so you feel inspired, but you don't have to copy my exact system. This is just what's worked best for me. Now, here's how I use the hybrid system, both Trello and my full focus planner. And you can substitute these, right? Maybe use Asana or use Podia or you use Notion. Whatever your digital tool is, if you're interested in using a digital tool and a physical planner, you can substitute these for whatever planner you're using or whatever digital tool you like the most. And so when it comes to planning and executing on my goals, I love starting out with the full focus planner. That's where I lay out my entire goals for the whole year, right? That's where I write my goal details pages and I break down my intentions for each goal. That's where I keep track of all the projects, major big picture projects that we're working on on a particular month, on a particular quarter. And then I can take that information to my weekly preview and plug it into the individual days of the week. That creates a system for me that helps me stay focused, right? That's the whole point of the full focus planner. If you take a look at my Trello project board, there's so many things that we have going on. We are a team now, and so I have to have a digital tool to collaborate with my team, and that's where Trello comes in. But if I just use Trello alone, at least that has been my experience, it is a lot to keep up with. There are so many moving pieces that it's just helpful for me to have a place where I can completely disconnect, right? Use the analog form of my planner and write down exactly what it is that we're going to be tackling as a team on a monthly and a quarterly basis, on a weekly basis, and for me on a daily basis as well. Now, with the full focus planner, um, in terms of my daily workflow, what I do is I just open my full focus planner right at the end of the day and I plan the next day based on what I was able to accomplish the day before. And I actually start even 
you know, before then, I actually create an entire plan for the week inside my weekly preview. I think about what are all the things that I need to get done in the next week. And that includes very simple tasks as well as a big picture tasks. So for example, under my professional tasks, I'll have things like write the business lounge weekly newsletter and talk about the latest course lesson. I also have uh, update the product in a weekend bonus, create a YouTube video, create my social media content batch, meet with the team during office hours, executive meetings on Mondays, right? Finish up my deep dive survey, finish working on my content calendar redo, send out your weekly newsletter. And so all of these things are tasks that are both big picture projects and little things that I need to get done on a daily basis. I then organize what days I'm gonna be working on those particular tasks. So for example, here I have that my TBL newsletter needs to get done on Tuesday. And so I assign that particular date to that task. And although that's a small thing that I have to get done, it's nice to see it on paper so I don't forget. Now there's also time carved out for bigger projects that include multiple steps. And so I like being able to break down an entire project into particular steps because I'm going to be working on it over the course of probably many weeks, if not months. So for this particular project, I already know that whenever I'm creating a big project, meaning something that requires multiple steps, I'm going to go to Trello and I'm going to break it all down. In this case, it's going to be in my big fat projects board, which by the way, you can swipe inside our Trello template pack, which I will link in the description box below. So for this particular project, as you can see, I have an entire Trello card with all of the attachments, all the links, all the resources for this particular project attached here. And I also have my to-do list. Each of these is a particular step. It takes me sometimes a couple of days to go through each individual one. So this will take me a while to complete. And I need to be able to break all of this down inside the step-by-step -step process because I'm also gonna be collaborating with my team on it. So instead of just breaking down all of these individual steps. I don't want to project manage inside the full focus planner. That's not what it's designed to do. I project manage on my digital tools like I do here. Anything that is a multi-step project will go on my Trello board. And that's literally where I work from here. I just plan what I'm going to be working on. And so it's not a specific step. It's just, Hey, continue working on this deep dive survey because it's part of my big picture goal for this quarter. And so every single time that I'm jotting down a big fat project, every single time I'm planning a week, I'm carving out time to work on my big picture project profit generating projects every single time I sit down to organize what I'm going to be working on. And that gives me a lot of clarity. It gives me a lot of space and time to work on things that I would not have time to do otherwise. Now moving into our daily pages, right? Because you guys might have questions about daily pages and how do I manage that aspect? So I already showed you that I plan my week ahead of time and then I assign a specific date. So let's say on Monday, I'm going to open up my daily pages and I'm going to look at, okay, what is it that I'm going to be working on today based on my plan, right? So I have my weekly preview. I'm going to be working on Facebook ads and I'm going to uh, create a batch of social media content. Those are my big three and I may or may not be working on a big picture project that day and that's okay. On the other task list, I will have things like remember to post on the YouTube community tab, check in with my team, pay the team and finish your executive meeting. So today I had an executive meeting and I want to make sure that I jot that down in the other task section. Now, most of the things on this to-do list are smaller tasks, right? They might take 30 minutes to an hour and there are usually things that are on repeat, things that I do every single week. And that just happens to be what my day looks like on this particular Monday. These things don't necessarily have to be on my Trello project board because they don't require multiple steps except for Facebook ads, which is probably connected to a bigger picture project. And so I hope that you're starting to see how you can leverage both your digital tools as well as your physical productivity tools to create some really great cadence between both of them.
And so just to recap, the general gist is this. I use my physical planner to stay focused and plan how I'm going to be allocating my time and my energy on particular days and also make sure that the things I'm working on on a daily basis actually connect to my big annual goals so that I can continue moving forward and I can leverage that momentum into growth faster. My digital tools, on the other hand, are mostly related to project management. I keep myself super organized because those projects have multiple steps. And so we will really use them a lot for things like content creation, right? My content calendar board. Anytime I'm creating a long form piece of content like this episode, it requires about 60 steps. And so we need to be able to track all of that down and create it in a way that we can collaborate as a team. But even if I was just doing this solo, it is so much to remember. I would rather just leverage my digital tool for that purpose. You can also integrate a full calendar if you're managing meetings or if you're doing pitches or if you're working with clients and setting up deadlines. All those things are malleable, right? You can totally manage them on a digital space that is way easier to uh, change as things come up. Whereas with paper, you can just leverage the big picture idea of what it is you're going to accomplish that week. So Irene, thank you so much for that dope question. And in the comments below, let me know what you think. What do you use? Do you use a hybrid system like I do? Do you prefer a digital tool or do you prefer a physical planner uh, like we use here as well? Let me know. I'm really curious to hear from you. And listen, if you've been around this channel, you know that I can talk about productivity all day long. But I want you to check out our other episodes on productivity. I'm going to link an entire productivity playlist in the description box below. But I also want you to check out our latest Trello video, which is going to walk you through the entire process that I go through to create a very, very successful productivity workflow from absolute zero. You're going to love it if you don't use Trello yet. And it's going to be linked right here. All right. I'll see you over on that episode. Un beso. Bye for now.